Hello friends, today we are going to start our retail banking. Retail banking is easy chapter as compared to the previous two one. So you will be doing the practical also in your branch. So moving ahead, we will start with the unit one. Uh, retail banking is a banking service uh, that is geared primarily towards the individual customer. So you have to focus that other than the corporate sector. If we are focusing on the individual customer, keep in mind that means we are focusing on the individual customer then it becomes the retail banking so unlike wholesale banking retail banking focuses strictly on the consumer market and consumer requirement although retail banking is for the most part mass market driven many retail banking product may also extend to small and medium size businessman so that means if businessman is small then also you can say that the part of the retail banking only so pure retail banking is generally conceived to be provision of mass market banking service to the private industry. So that means sometimes we go for the mass market like uh, PM Jandan Yojana was for the account opening was started. This was a mass market. Okay. And uh, to the private individual. So we can focus on the individual also, private individual also. So we can see the uh, some of the features are given here. That means attractive interest spread since the spreads are wide and uh, customers are too fragmented that they cannot bargain because customers individual customers are very large so in, they cannot bargain and their requirement is also very small so they cannot bargain to the bank okay you give me uh, less interest you charge less interest rate on this loan similarly and credit risk tend to be diversified because uh, the customer base is very very large so credit risk is mitigated and loan amount is also very very small as compared to the big corporate sectors and there is also le less volatility in demand and credit cycle than from large corporates that means demand will not change much and uh, this also will not be changing credit cycle as and uh, but uh, this may be having many features there are some uh, constraints also there like their high delinquency space in unsecured retail loans and credit card receivable so this uh, credit card receivable is very big factor all banks are uh, facing and there is also one more more problem is there like managing large number of clients especially if your IT system is not too robust and uh, rapid evolution of product because your customer base is very very big and uh, your uh, your product you are launching every now and then then it may be difficult to manage and one more is that cost of maintaining branch network and maintain, maintaining a large uh, customer database is also a very big problem and one more last is there if there is a loss of faith in a particular bank then it will lead to sudden outflow of retail deposit resulting in collapse of the bank that means if faith is lost then problem may happen because all the customers they will come and uh, they will start withdrawing the money then bank will run on that means bank will face the problem of liquidity now we'll go the history that uh, some bank retail banking was christian as consumer banking as the focus towards the individual customer that means in some of the banks they, their main target is to focus the individual customer and uh, they want to earn money out of that there is one company that is called capgemini ing that studies the global retail banking market uh, that was in year 2015 and with the aim of providing insight of financial services community through World Retail Banking Report that is called WRBR. So you have to focus here because this very become a very important Cap Germany and and European Financial Management Marketing Association. Okay, I'll repeat here EFMA European Financial Management and Marketing Association. So even though two M are here, but uh, European Financial Management. EFM, then again M is there, but M will, in short form, M will not come. 
सो यूरोपियन फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट है मार्केटिंग एसोसिएशन दैट मीन कैपजेमिनी विद ई एफ एम ए दे स्टडीड द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द ग्लोबल मीन्स इन ग्लोबली वट इज द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ रिटेल बैंकिंग सिस्टम सो इन ईयर टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन दे पब्लिश द रिपोर्ट growing stage and uh, so in india the main uh, started by the private banks uh, before that the foreign bank they started now what are the objective of the retail banking so retail banking objective any bank would mainly focus on the following that means when retail banking is uh, assorted by any bank they will focus on the generating superior return on the asset mean because all banks they are focusing on the profit only and acquiring sufficient funding because from the public they want to they want deposits enhancing risk management because loss customer um, very large customer base is there so risk management they have to mitigate understanding the customer and regaining their trust because uh, understanding a customer because you are dealing the individual customer so you have to understand the customer uh, with your mis system i mean management information system so you have to understand the need of the customer requirement of the customer their uh, wealth of the customer need of the customer and along with their trust and one more coping with increased demand regarding product transparency over an overall service level because nowadays a customer has been more demanding they want a transparent service that way banks should not hide anything from the customer so now all bank they have to cope with this situation because now customer has become more demanding and they want a quick service from the bank because yeah, the financial matter is involved and everybody is very concerned about the finance and achieving multi channel excellence with full integrated banking channel because now banking has become very sophisticated so all bank they want to achieve multi channel excellence that means in all field the bank want the excellence with fully integrated banking channel and moving toward the high level of industrialization so that means due to high level industrialization the requirement is also diversified now we have reached to the unit 2 of your book so what are the business model they are adopted by the public sector banks or private sector banks or foreign banks so here basically three and uh, approaches are here number one is called strategic business unit strategic business very very important all three are very important okay strategic business unit sbu approach and departmental approach and integrated approach part of overall business plan so in public sector bank we are having normally the departmental approach this is very important you can keep in mind so that means in our in, in our india public we are following the departmental approach that means all public sector bank they are following the departmental approach in the retail banking business so we will have to see what is what is called that uh, sbu approach departmental approach and the integrated approach so in sbu approach so i repeat once again here in strategic business unit means a separate business unit is opened for an example i'll tell you like a uh, reliance company they have opened that uh, reliance fresh as a separate business entity that means their everything is separate all department are separate so just like a separate unit so that means this unit has nothing to do with the management of the other unit but in departmental approach that means in the same same unit one department is created like in our banking system we are having the separate department hr department is there it department is there credit card department is there uh, likewise so uh, like no new department has been opened retail asset uh, hub department is there recovery department is there so many department has so that's why we are in public sector bank we are following the departmental approach 
because opening a separate business unit require a lot of investment that be separate unit means you are opening a separate unit of bank that's why in india we are following the departmental approach but private sector banks and for, uh, for some foreign banks they are uh, following the sbu and uh, some of the our psb they are also following the integrated approach like mix of both sometimes uh, sbu approach and sometimes departmental ask or mixed of this only thing is that what is the benefit uh, that sbu so sbu is more a management by objective so this you have to focus that means management by objective and uh, their focus is very very concerned that means wherein the business model is dealt in strategy wise and achieving the targeted profit there so the only the target is to achieve the profit with provision of knock down the model if the retail plan are not translated as per the objective that means if they are not able to succeed they will knock down the model they may close the model so their main objective is focus target for target is to earn the profit that's all so the main objective of the sb is to earn the profit where in the department the focus is okay focus is the profit but to expand the business also so banks in india generally structure their retail banking model mainly on the positioning platform is very very important which you can keep in mind na? that means uh, our psus public sector bank psb they mainly focus on the positioning platform where the foreign bank they uh, focus on the business objective there so their business objective is to earn the profit so this is the main difference you can keep in mind i'll repeat once again here that means our psb they are basically focus on the positioning platform where the foreign banks they are positioning on the business objective in retail banking model okay so now we we'll move at our chapter 3 प्रोफिट सो दे आर Uh, resorting to outsourcing where in any, uh, our psb they are following the departmental model so in some foreign banks both front and back and operations are outsourced front and back okay and in some bank back and end operation are outsourced while the front end operation like sourcing of hni client are done through captive resources so i'll repeat once again here uh, some foreign banks their front and back and operations are uh, fully outsourced and in some back back and operation are uh, outsourced but while uh, front end operator like sourcing of hni client are through captive resource captive resources means they reserve their resource for the particular purpose that means within the bank even though it is not outsourced but they keep one uh, source for the particular purpose so they designed their model in such a way that okay this particular source is only for the uh, like retail dealing with the customers especially hni customers so based on the technology and customer interface capabilities of the bank uh, there is one boston group boston group actually this is a consultancy agency in america so they have classified this in four broad categories so in four broad classification as envisaged by boston group were defined based on technology and customer interface capability of the bank are number one that means this is regard the services of retail banking horizontal organized model vertical organized model and predominantly vertical organized model and predominantly horizontal organized model so means vertical vertical this common but here when i say predominant means they are focus 100% focus on the vertical model okay and predominantly horizontal means match with the horizontal but 100% focusing means they are predominating horizontal model now 
so hor share 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 using offering 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 end to end so that means different process model for different product and to and end to end solution product wise that means different process model for the different product i'll just take example this our in our india uh, public sector banks they are following this type of model like uh, cash counter so in india we are having only uh, most of the branches they have only one cash counter or two cash counter depending on the number of customer visiting so in cash counter you can uh, deposit or withdraw only cash that means one product one model like Suppose you want to open bank account, so you have to visit a particular uh, person for bank account. So this is called different product model for the different product having their different process. But uh, private sectors banks, they are following vertical organized model. That means, so vertical organized model provides functionality across product with customer database for index and those depending on the customer the number of customers so centralized customer database is used across product okay that means like in you guys might have seen in private sector banks uh, you go to one counter they will do all the jobs but in india we are also resorting to this type of system and in p dominant horizontal organized model is mostly product oriented product oriented with common customer information for some product this mean only one product one one model likewise based on the customer requirement like one branch is located in the uh, market so depending upon the requirement of that needs of the market shopkeepers are there so that they like many many current accounts will be there so that will be need of a customer so that depending upon the customer there will be one predominantly horizontal organized model will be there okay similarly predominantly vertical organized model common information is available for most of the product okay that means all product be sold in a common platform so in most of the psb horizontal organized model is standard form so we are following this form only but new private sector bank uh, generally they follow the vertical organized model as a part of overall segmentation game plan of the bank so, and now branches are classified now moving ahead that means resource center profit center priority center and gender center to have a clear business focus so main objective is that this you remember this this four and now resource center profit center priority center and general center that means rppg rppg resource center profit center priority center and general so to have clear business focus that means your business must be focused okay and in this concept is effective business model for the public sector bank with large network and useful for focus strategies and already getting implemented in some of the public sector banks that means they are also using this strategy like what game plan they are using resource center means they have to see the resources profit center is the main motive priority center and their general center okay now uh, retail banking product are basically divided into three parts we can say liability product asset product and other products so liability you know what is the liability for the bank that means saving account is there current account is there term deposit is there so these are called the liability similarly if you are dealing with the retail so it become the liability product in a retail banking sector similarly asset product asset means whatever the loan has, is being taken by like credit card is there the asset where they'll be spending the money uh, loans are the housing loan is there vehicle is loan is there personal loan is there so money loan is there for for the their personal use so they become the asset and other product like uh, you can say selling of insurance product atm service there so be, that become the other services so product differentiation among these account is best achieved by adding different value proportion 
That means you are, now you might have seen from plain vanilla account to the value in this account. That means value that means we are, now we have started giving the ATM card along with the account opening. We have started giving the checkbook along with the account. We are giving the overdraw facility along with the account. So these are the value added services we have started giving along with the plain vanilla account. So we have already discussed that in our India, detailed banking is only the growing stage and many are to be achieved. So uh, if you talk about the credit card, so all public sector banks are not in credit card business, only few selected that means those business is very high because it requires very big volume game and needs process efficiency. Okay, so management of credit card is because it requires very efficient manner and it is in development process Geo i already discussed it is retail asset is in development process and geography is not important because our focus is the quality okay so geography is not important but type of branch and center and business potential is very very important for us and bank has adopted different process model for the retail asset product the common form of process model are centralized reset asset processing center so c r a p c like you might have seen some of the bank they have opened their uh, retail asset hub where all processing is done at the center to increase the efficiency okay branch they collect the application form and then it is sent to the rs because they are expert in dealing with the all paperwork so and marketing team is also there the so they carry out the marketing and then in that case when finance is done finance is approved by rh or you can say retail asset processing center then disbursement of the funding is done at the branch level means now the paperwork is done by the rh and collection of paper will be done by the branch and final disbursement will be done at the branch level and uh, because a retail asset is having large database of customer so like opening up account issue a passbook checkbook atm card debit card pin mailer for the card now it has been centralized so many banks they are following system to increase the efficiency okay and in the retail asset time process is very very important because the now customer they don't want to waste time in that banking uh, business too much so they require immediate response from the bank or bank should give the suitable reply or services they, that means they should service immediately without loss of the time or you can say to minimal time so we have finished the three chapters of this our module a and next video will start module b very soon so thank you very much watching this video